Okay, so our next tab on our fall project is the CDs and savings. So this is for the certificate of deposits and the savings account. This is from Choice Board 11. Um, we did this. So on your maroon 11 assignment, and I believe on your yellow gray assignments too, you had an interest rate comparison thing, and you had one with a CD and one with a savings account. This is in Google Sheets, and I'm making this fall semester thing in Google Sheets. This will actually copy over with the formulas and everything. So if I come here and I highlight everything that I want, control C, unlike when you're using going between Excel and Google, if you control V, it copies it in. So this is my start, right? I'm going to go ahead and underline this because I want it to look good. I have my CD and I have my savings account. So the CD is, this is a fixed interest. What that means is that every month or every year, I mean, you're getting interest off of the money that you put in to start with. You're not earning interest on what you have in your account. So the way we set this up, I would totally just copy and paste what you did. But okay, so I'm assuming that I put 5,000 in to start in both my CD and in my savings account. I'm assuming for this one, 2.8% interest on both of them. So I would do this. As you're setting this up in your table, you should not type in a single number ever like this. Like you should type the year. All of this stuff needs to be calculations. If, if this is typed in as a number, I'm just not giving you credit for it because this is what we're learning, right? This we're making Excel do this for us. I'm going to go ahead and delete all these so we can show you what you did or so I can show you what you're supposed to do. So our beginning balance for year one is what we're putting in our account. So I go equals and I'm going to refer it to my beginning balance. My interest earned for my CD is always going to be 2.8% of this. So I go equals. I'm going to click on my 2.8% times. I'm going to click on my 5,000. This is never changing. So I want it to always refer to those cells. So to do that, I put my little dollars. Remember, it's the dollar, dollar bill, y'all. So dollar B, dollar five, dollar B, dollar six. Those are not changing. That's going to be different from this one. You'll see in a minute, but this does not change. So I want the dollar bills. My final balance at the end of year one is going to be what I started with plus what I earned in interest. So this is just going to be equals this one plus this one. Okay, that's year one. Year two, I'm not starting with 5,000 anymore, right? Because I got some interest. I'm starting with 5,140. So I'm going to go equals. I'm going to click on the end balance from the year before. Hit enter. Ta-da! So that's my new starting balance. I'm going to go ahead and drag this one down. So if I drag this little thing right here, notice it stayed 140. It doesn't move. Actually, that's going to be the same all the way down. Every single year, I'm only just getting 140. My end balance is going to be the same formula every year. I'm going to do the beginning plus what I earned. That I can go ahead and drag down. My beginning balance, I don't want to copy both of these because this one referred back up to this. But this one is the formula that I want because I want to refer back to the year before. So I'm just going to click on this by itself. It's got the formula that I want. So I'm going to click on this thing, drag it down. So notice at the end of the time, so I started with 5,000. After 10 years, I have 6,400. But every single year, my interest was the same. Savings accounts and 401ks and that sort of thing, those are different. So my beginning balance, the first year is going to look just like this one did. So I'm going to go equals my starting amount. So it's 5,000. My interest earned, and notice this balance kind of cuts off. If I want to, I can adjust this so I can see that. Same over here. I could come up here. I could drag that wider. That way I could see my titles. It's just kind of, it's one of those things that, that makes it look professional. Okay. My interest earned. So this is different. I'm going to go equals. I am going to use this same interest rate. But I'm going to earn, because this is compound interest, what it means is your interest, you're going to earn money on the money that you have as opposed to money that you started with in the very beginning. So each, each year, you're going to be, your money's building on itself. So I'm going to have this, but instead of multiplying it times my amount up here, I'm going to multiply it by the beginning balance for that one year. 
So I'm going to multiply by this. In this case, as we click and drag, I want this to change, right? But I want my interest rate to stay the same. So I'm going to go ahead and do my dollar dollar bill. Dollar dollar. It looks the same, right? It's 140. And you're like, you lied. It's supposed to be different, but you got to wait. Okay. Final balance, exact same as we did before. This one plus this one. The new balance in year two is just that the one that you ended with because, you know, from January, from December 31st to January 1st, like one day, your money is not going to go from 5140 back down to 5000 right? You're just going to have this. So I go equals. Click on that. Okay. Now, this is where it gets different. This one referred to this, right? So if I click and drag this down one, when it calculates interest, it's now calculating interest on this amount. It's not calculating on 5000 So instead of 140 I'm getting $143.92. Then my imbalance is going to do the same thing. It's just going to add them up. So this one, I ended up with 5280 which is funny because it's the same number of feet in a mile. That's just a coincidence. This one ended up with 5,283 and 92 cents. Okay. So then I'm going to highlight these three because I'm going to click and drag all at the same time. And I get down at the end. This one after 10 years, because it's simple interest and it doesn't build on itself, you're getting 6,400. This interest is building on itself. So I'm getting more and more interest every single year. So in this case, instead of ending up with 6,400, I ended up with 65.90 and 24 cents. So that's, that's all you do. I can, if I wanted to, I can notice how this formatted a little funny. I can come in here. I can go up to here. I can format it different ways, alternating colors. Let's see. I think I chose that one. Ta-da. It fixes it. Ta-da. Oops. I want that done. So I can do this now. But all of that's formatting. It's all up to you. I would probably come in and put a box around it. I might even do all borders just to make it look like a nice, neat table. Same with this one. It's kind of personal preference at this point. As long as you have the numbers in, those are the important part. Everything else is just making it pretty. But uh, sometimes making it a little bit pretty goes a long way. Done. Ta-da. See how nice and neat that looks. Actually, I could have put this up here, but whatever. Okay, so that's... That's our CDs and savings. You should already have this. You shouldn't have to do any of that work. You should be able to just copy and paste from what you had before on your assignments.